whose waveform is then recorded by <laughs> whose waveform is then recorded by aero the ethereal transcriber at the back. This provides us with the detailed data of the environment, which we can study at our leisure. I'm gonna shove this guy in a f***ing locker. We're gonna do the 24 man now. Mordona, yes? Let's go. Turn to the Phantom Realm. Derek betrays uh, a gleam in his eyes at the sight of you. Oh, greetings, Inuchio. If you've come to ask about developments in our Phantom Realm investigation, then your timing couldn't be better. A short while ago, I received word from Grahatia he and Kryl have completed their preparations in Charlian and are ready to resume fieldwork. Even as we speak, they make their way hither. Let's wait for them together, shall we? Waits patiently. How much longer must I wait to see those Nafika Nafikas? You know what I mean? Ah, there they are. <laughs> he looks so tired. That's gotta be heavy. What up, Kryl? You ugly little rat. What's up? <sighs> what in the heavens are you carrying? This, my friends, is the latest technological marvel to come out of Charlian. I give you the Aetheric Analyzer. Holding it thus, you take a measure of the ambient aether. Oh, nifty. Whose waveform is then recorded by... <laughs> Whose waveform is then recorded by Aero the Aethero Transcriber at the back. This provides us with the detailed data of the environment, which we can study at our leisure. I'm gonna shove this guy in a fucking locker. As you know, the Phantom Realms are hidden by illusions. In order to ascertain their nature, I suggested to Kryl that we record the data with proper equipment. Alas, said equipment is tremendously cumbersome. Ra has done well to bring it here in one piece, and as expensive as it doubtless is, I hope we can return it in the same condition. Return it. Derek's like, I'm keeping that shit. <laughs> yes, to the forum. In approving our investigation, they granted us use of the device in addition to their financial backing. Despite the students' greatly reduced scale, the forum has faith in our endeavors. Thus did the approval notice declare, I'm proud to say. We owe much of this goodwill to the Scions, yourself not least of all. That being said, we can't depend on the forum indefinitely. No, we must stand our, on our own two feet again, and it begins with our efforts in this investigation. The Twelve are meant to be Eorzea's guardian deities. Yet they seek battle with mankind. What could it possibly be that motivates them? So let's do a quick together rundown chat. In the last raid series quest, right? The Alliance raid series quests. It kind of seemed like the gods were testing us for fun, for some kind of trial in the future. We don't really know. And it's still kind of mysterious. But we do know that they definitely most probably could have wiped us if they wanted, but didn't. They like held back a little bit to like test us. And the ones that we encountered so far were Ralgar, Naldal. Also that they aren't primals. True. Yep. Also that they've been watching us like the whole time. Byragot and Azema. Yeah, those were the other two. Those four. Who were the two that were flying around together a lot as minions? That was Byragot and Ralgar, right? As the eagle and something else. We talked to them for a while and they were literally in Ralgar's reach. And they were like, yeah, we've been fucking, we've been flying around forever just watching y'all. And we were like, what? <laughs> and we realized there's so much more to the 12 that we don't understand. Was there any other important details? The fact that they weren't primals, they're testing us for some reason, and they're like technically all around us at once, but we don't even know it. I think that's most of the important details. And treating them with earnestly, I am hopeful that we will find the answer. We shouldn't keep snow game wait em, uh, waiting. Without further ado, let's join her in uh, the Omphalos. I still think that Derek is Althic, and maybe the little Opo Opo is another god too. Old well, deity, one of the 12. I don't know if god is technically the correct term, but I think Derek is Althic, who led us there on purpose because, you know, they wanted to test us. Wouldn't we be fighting Althic this raid tier? Maybe? I thought Althic was the last one on the wheel. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure he's the last one because I remember when I chose my god, which is Althic, it was the last one, I think. I can't quite remember. Something in my head is telling me that he was the last one. Well, we're about to find out. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Well now, if it isn't the Etheric Analyzer, you've done well to get a hold of it. Indeed, we're duly grateful to the form for the loan. It's no small thing to be lugging about, but I've always wanted to try it. If you are ready, Raha, you may proceed with measuring the Aether of the Phantom Realm. Minuchio, please assist him, will you? In the meantime, I have a mind to further examine the monument with no, uh, snow game. How does that sound? Like a plan. As a matter of fact, I've already done a little bit of work on that front. As you previously determined, the monument harbors some manner of magic, and this magic, I've since found, takes form of an epigraph. 
By consulting experts in the field of archaeology, I was able to make a discovery. What's an epigraph, chat? Oh yes, a most startling discovery. That is, the epigraph is largely incomplete, so we can't read it. Oh. Well. <laughs> An inscription on a building, statue, or coin, as per Google. So, like, kind of like a hieroglyphic, but, like, also not. So you didn't make a discovery. Ah, but see, establishing what one doesn't know is an important step in research. That's true. For a blessing, the language used doesn't appear to be completely unknown. If we can but fill in the missing information, it should be possible to make sense of it. But where do we even begin looking for such information? Why, we ask the gods themselves, of course. By giving them the battle they desire, we're doing them a favor, are we not? That being the case, I dare say uh, they would grace us with their presence if called. Please come with me. She sure is assuming a lot. <laughs> also, I don't think she's going to be doing any battling. I think it's just going to be me, honestly. <laughs> oh, the things I would ask them if they really did appear. Oh, she's just, she's just, <laughs> she's just blind firing right now. <laughs> I like her a lot. She has no idea if this is going to work. Now, going by astrology, the heaven of earth should be the next to open. And it just so happens I know the perfect incantation for this purpose. She's going to say some stupid shit. Watch this. Shenron! Show me those Nafika titties! Open mo Montoy? It's like saying open sesame, probably. It's a time-honored charm passed down in Gridania, whose patron is Nafika. One of those deities said to dwell in heaven and earth. Come, everyone, say it with me. <laughs> Brah. Eh, what the hell? Can't hurt trying. Open Montoy! <laughs> It worked! <laughs> Holy shit! Awesome! Hey, yo! <laughs> what delightful children you are. I too have desired to speak with you. Same. <laughs> Zam. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Holy moly! By the twelve, it's her. It's really her. She looks precisely as depicted in legend. Amazing. Tis an honor to meet you, Nofka. If I may, what is it that you wish to speak about? Don't ask me the color of anything, bro. Damn! You seek to decipher the monument, do you not? If you face more of us in battle, I can't read this shit, bro. I myself included. We shall grant you the key to unlocking that mystery. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we would, of course, be much obliged for such a gift, but are you certain? The gods before were not exactly forthcoming with your secrets. Closely have we watched you from our respective spec uh, sanctums. Wait, are you talking about you three in front of us? Or <laughs> who's this we? Watched us, you faced us, and pursued the truth with the pure hearts and minds. In light of what we have seen, we have concluded thus. Even should you uncover the monument's purpose, you would still be willing to lend us your aid. Okay, okay. Help us to fulfill our heart's desire, and so too shall we grant you yours. Fair enough. Jesus. I look forward to receiving you in my sanctum, my dear children. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Come back, please. <laughs> God damn. The original plan was to revisit the heavens of lightning and fire, but I believe all would agree that we should prioritize Nafika's invitation. Well, Snow Game, your charm did the trick way to another heaven lies open and beyond it uh the truth of the monument she's kind of a genius i can scarcely wait to pour over the uh, etheric data raha anuccio i leave it in your capable hands as for you derek may we rely on your guidance once more he said uh -uh. now that we know what awaits i do not feel my presence is necessary on the contrary i would only be a burden i guess as you wish of course we can still kind of need to pray for our friends though i trust i'm so distracted right now i'm glad that i can join you this time anuccio Encumbered as I am with the analyzer, I fear I won't be able to assist in the battle, but I shall do my part and secure the data we need. He's gonna go become Althic while you fight. Yeah, imagine he's just gone when we come back. I look forward to receiving you in my sanctum. I can't believe she said that shit. Bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna look around and we're gonna enjoy the aesthetics of you for scene. Good morning. 
Thank you. Good morning. Hi. I'm very sleepy. It's beautiful. Background image. Wow. Oh. It's the tree. The tree. Oh, she's first. Oh my God. The time. Oh, I wish they were bigger. I'm gonna be honest. We can make them bigger. Stop. I know. <laughs> I am looking. <laughs> Is it gonna show all 24 portraits, by the way? I hope so. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's probably just gonna show your own parties, huh? Yeah. Whoa. But don't worry, I didn't remember a single thing. Oh, the music. All right, go ahead whenever you're ready. Fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah! <laughs> that <God>. hurted. <laughs> Abundance. Wait, the song? Music? Yeah, it's so good. You the hold down? The violin goes hard as fuck. Oh, oh pretty! The giving land. Oh. Whoa. Okay, giving land is an out! Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ow. Oh, wait. I think that's in. Oh, it depends uh, on what phase she's in. Ooh. It's like Queen's Waltz. Matron's Harvest. Oh my gosh, look at this forest around us. Reaper's Gale. Waffle pattern. She's the OG Reaper. Floral Haze. Um? Forward March. Oh. Oh, I see. Hmm. I wasn't reading before. Oh, I thought it went... Up. No, it's going to go after. Yeah, now you have to go out with this. Go out with your march. Go out with your march. Nice. Yeah, I got the wrong one. Yeah, I see, I see. Oh, Fear is here and Fear is dead. Dude, I love being able to see everybody's timers. Matron's Harvest swaps the arena, I think? Oh, no, it's a raid wide. Whoops. And it's a raid wide, yeah. Yo, the song is so good! Matron's breath. She's so pretty! Uh, tower? Um, that's not a tower. Uh, oh, you have to stand on the, the right one at the right time. Yeah. Okay, now go to yellow. Now go to yellow. Now go to yellow. And then next is blue. Oh! And then go stand on blue. Oh, I see! <laughs> Playing fucking DDR. <laughs> it's actually DDR. <laughs> Abundance is a raid wide. That's cool. She's at 30% and we haven't seen the buster. March in 15 seconds. Oh, everybody has different timers. <gasps> okay, mine's going off soon. Oh. Some, a long hmm. oh no. Mine's about to just go <laughs> Oh, I have to go in with this. No. Oh, shit. Who, who fucking trolled and put Expedient up during the march? <laughs> Wait, actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They just killed like half the party. <laughs> sounds like sounds like a skill issue. I'm sorry. You're a help. <laughs> skill issue. You're a help. Oh, stand on yellow. Stand yeah, on yellow. Yeah. Stand on yellow. I want this, but like five times faster. Blue. Oh, it's just swap back and forth. That's boring. I wish there was like an overlap, so you had to like oh, no, do color yellow combos yellow. too. Oh yeah, then it's yellow. Like, yellow. There's a green. First time we see that. And she's dead. Awesome! Yay! Oh, she's not dead. She, she just peaced out. Pretty. Oh, so the song too. Sweeping gap. Oh, and there's a tank buster. Oh, it's a tank buster. Or not? Oh, what the fuck? Run! Surely this doesn't hurt. Revenge, no! This is the guy from Monster Hunter World, right? Yeah. I got this. I'm helping. Wait, I want to help. No, Wait, revenge. don't don't help. Don't help. <laughs> oh god, it's oh a comet. God. Wait, where's the rock? Um Hopefully that doesn't go through resin bomb. It does. <laughs> I figured I would test it since I res there. Let's be behind it. I can't believe you died. Poor revenge. I already lost my will to live when I queued in on white mage. Who is? Knows. Wait, is that Althic? It's a horse. That is Althic. Oh, look at that spinning wheel. Oh, I'll take cool. a Nemia. All right, this looks awesome. You ready? Yeah. Mark Cassie, Mark Cassie? Okay. Ah. Oh, they have buffs. Funny Wait, that, they've been in rage. Oh, Look at their buff. Rage, they've been, yeah. yeah, they've been in rage. Oh, what? she's an Astro. Buff. And on her maybe? Heart. Yeah, look at her. Don't look. Yeah. I'm tricking you. Enjoy. Was it look away from there? It was look yeah. away. 
It was like fated to be seduced if you're looking at her when the time expires or something like that. Um? What is this? What? Uh, I did it right. I don't know what I, I did though. Didn't. <laughs> I, I know. didn't know what was coming from Althic. It reduces the timer of the debuff. Oh, he just changed the time. Interesting. Oh, I love it when I do a mechanic right and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, there's stuff on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, people are standing in it. Ew, oh, it's goopy. Oh. What? Oh. oh, maybe you were supposed to stand in the goop. Ah. What? Lines is coming out like I'm going under? Oh, yeah. You can, oh, you can let okay. dodge into it. They're going to, like, move out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have to kill them at the same time? I think so. No. They transferred HP. Oh, did they like equalize? Yeah. Oh, there's towers. One, two, three, four. Or just one, two, three. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna assume so. Water's normally knock back, yeah. Ah, goodbye. What are the stars for? Was that just like uh, countdown? It's just a uh, countdown. Yeah. Okay, yeah, don't look. Wait, upside, upside down. down. So Go look ahead. at her, look at her, look at her. Yeah, you gotta look at her. Oh, it's Kefka with the question mark, too. This is crazy. I'm almost overwhelmed right now with how much is going on. <laughs> she is so cute. Her model's so cute. She got the poofy pants. She's, she's so cute. She's kind of fear up build. Three might be one now. It sounds right. Yeah. And then two, and then three. Yeah. They're really low. Ow. Oh. oh don't, you don't, were standing in don't the Don't be standing on the goop when he does that, <laughs> yeah. by the way. <laughs> also, don't stand on the goop when the knockback resolves, because that's also magic damage. Ouch. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It's going to be Haloni. Do you guys say Haloni or Haloni like baloney? Oh, I say Halone. It's yeah, Halone. That's... Halone Baloney. Is that a pirate? Oh, wait, no, that's not a pirate hat. That's a... Uh, never mind. It's like what a... the fuck? These looks like they shouldn't have been stacked. Oh. Ow. I'm guessing oh. no, because that's a lot of... Um. That's a lot of overlap. Ouch. Yep. Sorry, we can what? heal through I stood this. in it, and I was perfectly I'd fine. I'd like to solve the mechanic. <laughs> it sounds like yep. a skill issue. <laughs> I'm just going to try to outrange fine. all these. Oh, some of them are doing in, some are doing outs. Yeah. Oh, yeah this oh my god, god, this place is awesome. Heaven of Ice. Halone. Halone. She's so bad. Is there a hell of fire? So cool. Wow. Is there like a fire aspected oh. god? There she is. Dude, her shield is so she fucking like cool. Digimon. What is that tiny red planet? Uh, Element, probably? That's my house, bruh. Oh, nice. Rain of Spears is the raid wide. It hits twice. Oh, it's... Tetra? Oh. Is it Tetra? Oh, she's gonna do four mechanics. Oh. In, left, out, right. In, left, out, right. Out. Oh. And then right. It's the uh That's cool! It's the warrior of blood mechanic, right? She's gonna do it again. So she's gonna telegraph four mechanics out. Out. Left. Right. In. Out, left, right, in. Left. Right. In. That's awesome. Towers. Oh my god, everyone. He's hurt by the everyone way. south. Goodbye. Uh, oh. There yeah. were not enough people there. I did yeah, not I should, want to walk You should that probably far. just should be spread alliance. that by alliance. Yeah. Thousand full. Uh, what the fuck? Excuse me? Oh, she just hits the side that she closes on. League of Legends Pantheon. League of Legends Pantheon. Wait, actually? <laughs> really? All right, look for where it's converging. Okay, so be back, 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 back. You bet I could survive the whole thing. No. Want to find out? <laughs> you guys want to snacks, I'm pretty sure. Uh oh, all right. I'd simply survive. Uh, 
I'm nope. guessing this Go. is... I'm going this DX1 way. one wait. Oh. Um, uh, southeast. Oh. Yeah, she just made two walls of spears that shot. This is like, uh, Hobbs. Oh, you have to step into these. And go out. Wait, what is it? Yeah, oh. it hurts Ooh. either way. Oh! oh. Wait. Wait. <laughs> hey, yo. Ad phase. Um, Alliance A Whoa. Northwest. Good luck, everyone else. Um, guys, her gauge is building pretty fast. <laughs> Hurry up! Uh -oh. oh God, there's an ad We're in the middle. As well. Oh, oh God. A's done. We can kill it. You're still gonna resolve. No way, right? Oh. Um, this looks like it's gonna hurt. Is it getting cold in here? Stand behind it just me. me? This don't take damage. Ow. Just say no. My cure three is. Oh my, dude! <laughs> that was awesome. Susana would be proud. That was sick as shit. Um, this oh. is gonna be northwest. And I'm also, oh fuck. Yeah, there's just a high slice. Yeah, yeah, there's diagonal. God, I wish you just faced northwest. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> this is the this is the step into the donuts. Oh my god! I just realized her sign is on the floor. That's awesome. Oh, that's evil, dude! If you get hit by the donuts, you freeze in place, and then the AOE kills you. <laughs> Every single time, you've only had to do one movement between Out. the left and then north. Run! <gasps> Ow. Okay, I, yeah, I wouldn't be able to survive that. <laughs> uh, South is dead for sure. Oh my god, there's only two people there. Yeah, I was watching it and I decided not to go in there. That's a lot of raid wides. I'm gonna do it. No, I want it. <laughs> Don't worry, I got LB2. Right. Kill. Ooh, Stop the it. healer top drop. White mage. Cute. That looks kind of nice. Oh, I damn. got a 69. Yo, I'm frozen right now. <laughs> Wait, it looks <laughs> bad on male characters. Oh, <gasps> pretty. Oh, look in the middle of the big statue. This oh, Fira cool. wrote better than I did. All right, I who is pretty. it? Who is it? Who is it? It's me. Oh my God, revenge it's yourself. Hatsune. It's Hatsune, it's Hatsune, Hatsune Miku. Miku. Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku. The, the BGM is Hatsune Miku music. The lover. Menfina. Menfina. I can't believe Hatsune Miku finally made it into Final Fantasy. We finally oh, got the Hatsune Miku 14 collab. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna BGM 100. All right, well, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Looks light. Someone go test if it's insta kill. Oh. Uh, is this EX3? The moon begins to wax. I'm gonna go uh, north. Yes? Yeah, like north. No, wait, no, northeast. Oh, yeah, northeast. Uh, right? Yeah, there's just a clue. Ow. We were overthinking it. It was just don't be in line with it. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it had to do with the direction it filled up, but I guess not. <gasps> the banjo's back. Not the banjo. Yeah, the violin. The fiddle. Oh, these are gonna. So they're going off a different. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the go to the ones that aren't filled up all the way. And then go back in. Oh, wait, my two minutes. Man presses all my two minutes and she leaves. <laughs> what if we have to hide behind one of these and it's all a bait? All right, let's see something cool. Show me something. Wait, she's she actually Miku. Miku. Oh. Oh. Dog. Dog. She's so cool. This is awesome. Oh, she's. Oh, my God. Wait, he's awesome. Uh -oh. oh, they're both attacking. Oh, ow. Yeah, the dog was doing a cleave, and so was she at the same time. Playful orbit, dog. Uh, Over here. Oh wait, we should run. Oh wait, no, I was right the first time. The real question is, will she have a stupid phase mechanic as troll Ooh. as knob dolls? Yeah, this fiddler is fiddling pretty hard. <laughs> True. Middle, I suppose. Can I stay here? Ow. I guess you could. Oh, Ooh, oh nice. Slidey. Ah. Um, like here, like behind her. 
I mean, my I, I can't slide right there. His name is Dalamud. That's cute. Can you pull up I hope this? it cleaves one of them. Oh, you can uptime this, dude. Awesome. I'm gonna have to awesome. run this alliance raid like 30 times for the minion. Have fun. I already know it. it wait, wait. It's all this chat. Is the last it's your birthday. Everybody just just give me the the minion. It's her birthday. That was awesome. Pass on the minion. <clears throat> it's Evie's birthday. Do this for her. Yeah. Alliance A, pass on the minion, bro. Is this the healer? Wait, power? those are so cute. Oh, those Jones. are. Wow. What do they look wow. like? Wow. And they're diable. Do they die good? Oh my god, they do. <gasps> nice. Everybody, give V the minion. No, someone rolled on it. Ban all three of those motherfuckers. Everybody got your pose. God. <laughs> Someone's like going Reaper mode over there. For real. No, the, the fucking resolution that this red mage is doing is blinding me. <laughs> there you go. Got a pretty good one. You're both safe. Thank goodness. You have the data then. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't suppose I could do the honors and replace the transcriber cartridge. I've always wanted to take a closer look. Take care of removing it now. We don't want anything to happen to the data. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh God. Carefully does it, come to me. Oh, knowledge divine, come to me. What is that? Huh? Oh. Hey, Menfina. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's... It's all right. The cartridge is safe. What up, gods? You have our gratitude for bringing us closer to achieving our dream. What does that mean? Oh, Althic, must you always be so formal? Although he has trouble expressing it, I assure you, my brother is absolutely giddy with joy. Why are you here, Nalfka? Have you not sufficiently amused yourself with the mortals? Not nearly. I would talk to them some more. Nalfka promised you the key to deciphering the monument, did she not? Yes, that's correct. Then you would do well to hold in your minds that which harbors information. To clarify, we shall create the objects you need, but your assistance is required to give them form. She looks so cool. Worry not, appearance has no effect on function. Just try and imagine that which, in your minds, is used to hold information. Mm, floppy disk. Mm, urethra! Book. Map. Book. What? <laughs> what is that? Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> there, these instruments shall be useful in your quest. <laughs> Across the Arzia lie eternal stones that hold the information required to complete the words of the monument. By holding an instrument out to a stone, it will take that information unto itself. Oh. We scattered out those stones across the realm that mortals would never uncover our secrets. Of late, however, it would seem you have found alternate uses for them as objects of worship. Oh! Oh, those things. Could they be the marks of the Twelve? They are, aren't they? Oh, to think that they harbored information on the gods. It seems we have our next destinations. Aside from the three city-states, I believe the marks are located in Corthus and Mordona. I propose we split up, the quicker to finish the task. I wish to come too. No, Menfina. T'would not do to burden these children so. After all this time, we finally have the chance to speak with mortals, to learn about them from up close, and we're not like to have another. I must say, I share Menfina's view. I'd like to learn about you too, and I believe I speak for all of us. By all means, let us travel together. Music to my ears. We shall watch over you and see that you safely reach your destinations. Without further ado then. Not so fast. <laughs> it's the gods from the first one. Did you think you could go frolicking without us? The others have our domain well in hand, so we are coming too. Well now, far be it from us to stop you. Let us assume our disguises too, and then each choose a mortal to accompany. All right, we all get our own little pet gods. Please, let it be something inconspicuous. I believe my destination is Thanalan. Then it's Lanasia for Raha, the Twelveswood for Kryle, and last but not least, Mordona and Corthus for Derek and Anuccio. Will you be all right, Kryle? I shall be fine, you needn't worry. We get the bunny to follow us? Who's the bunny? Oh, it's Menfina. I thought Menfina would be the, the fox. We abided by the gods' selections, but why do you suppose the two of us were grouped together? Why, because you make the most intriguing pair, the gods felling hero and the world-faring explorer. Bunny. I shall relish the chance to learn about both of you. Now then, the others have already set forth, so let us do the same. Aside from my own mark, I believe we'll find those of Thaliac and Halone in Mordona and Corthus. Ook, ook. Oh my, what an adorable creature. Delighted to meet you, little one. 
It seems to want to join us too. What an unusual company this has become. The gods truly know no inhibition. Forgive me, Nuccio. I couldn't have anticipated this turn of events. Hey, me neither, man. I'm down though. Is Derek a secret 13th god? I don't know, man. I'm still, I'm still coping that maybe he is in heavenly company. <gasps> Wait, are we taking him to, oh. The nearest mark is Thaliax, just outside in Mordona. Memory serves, it overlooks the lake at a place called Rathros. I don't trust that baby Oppo. Me neither, man. Me neither. Now then, we're to hold out an instrument to the stone. Would you care to do the honors here, Nuccio? The instrument vibrates rapidly. Uh... It's saying it doesn't accept Apple Pay. Where do we go next? <laughs> Tis done! The information held in the stone has been etched. As Althic said, these stones are eternal. No matter their shape or location, their nature is unchanging. Together with the monument and Omphalos, they have remained the same since time immemorial. Mm. Twas the love that men bear for us, and we for the star, that compelled us to create the monument and the stones. And though men do not know the truth of the stones, they offer them prayer. This act is a manifestation of your bond with us, while the stones are a manifestation of our bond with the star. And so, by praying to the stones, you effectively cultivate a bond between yourselves and us and the star. Delightful, is it not? True. It's kind of awesome. Though we appreciate your eagerness to talk, perhaps we should save some conversation for the destinations to come. If we linger too long in any one place, we are liable to be late to reconvene with the others. Then let us make for the central highlands of Corthus within the Fury's gaze. My own mark awaits. Yeah, I feel like it's in poor taste to be like, hey, God, can you shut up for a second? We're going to be late. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> there it is, the mark of the Fury. It wouldn't do to burden you constantly. I shall extract the uh, information this time. Looking back, Helene, you've grown noticeably more imposing this past millennium. There are also more statues in the Heaven of Ice. Ooh, but an idea occurs to me. Anuccio, this time I want you to share what you know about the worship of Helene. I dare say it will be interesting to hear what mankind thinks of her from your perspective. You often hear Helene's name invoked in battle. The Ishgardian Orthodox Church is the heart of faith in the Fury. Yeah, but Helene's often invoked in battle. I don't want to talk about the Ishgard Orthodox Church right now. Ah, oh, yes, ever did I feel the people's fervent desire to be strong that they might protect that which they hold dear. Well, how very fascinating. Tis a fine thing indeed to hear directly from mortals. Still, as much as Helene loves her children, it troubled her to see them at war with the dragons, to see those who spare, uh, who share this star spill each other's blood. As you should well know, Menfina, it isn't our place to judge the faith of the mortals. Even when we lend them our aid, we must refrain from intervening with in their affairs. Lest there be any doubt, mankind's faith in us is mankind's alone. By your prayers, our forms are become that which they need to be. Apologies for the wait. Oh, I had a third option for that. Were you on Paladin by chance? Or is Halone your deity? Acquired the information, have you? Excellent, let us proceed to the next mark, mine. As I recall, it lies near the Steel Vigil by the cliff west of the entrance. Follow me. I think it's from the Endwalker job quest that was in Ishgard, the caster one. I didn't do all those, that's probably why. Oh look, someone's praying, hee <laughs> hee. How delightful to see one of my faithful children. Oh, benevolent goddess, grant me deliverance. I beseech you, save my soul. He doesn't know. Y you! You're the one who's hunting down the lambs of Delamud. Uh, I knew it. Knew you wouldn't stop till you've dealt with every last one of us. And now you've come for me. Ah, to think that this is her will. The lambs of Delamud? They are the cult that appeared prior to the seventh umbral calamity, are they not? In the name of their faith, they abducted and sacrificed innocent souls and did not fear death. I've committed no crimes, I swear it. Menfina is my witness. <laughs> looks down. <laughs> in the beginning, we simply prayed to the twin moons for Dalamud to one day shepherd our souls to the bosom of his mistress. But it all changed when Dalamud began turning red. More and more of us began believing that he was our savior, that we must prove our loyalty with our lives, else we would suffer eternal damnation. So that's how your group took on its fanatical ways and came uh, to be branded a dangerous cult. And at some point, I assume you were tasked with hunting them down. I used to be a merchant in Old Ab, but timid as I am, I struggled to survive in that cutthroat world. That's why I turned to Mundfina. I wanted to bask in her gentle acceptance and gain courage from her strong and faithful hound. They were my solace, the only way I could be at peace with myself. But they took it from me, my fellows who committed those horrible deeds, and those who revi uh, reviled me as one of them. They took it away. Y you're strong, aren't you? Grant me deliverance, I beg you. Judge me and show me the way. God, you're fucking weird. What do you... <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I just can't bear it anymore. What good is a god I can't see who won't grant me a thimble of sucker no matter how much I pray? 
You mustn't seek in men what you seek in gods. Strong as she is, she is but a mortal, like you. She is made of flesh and blood and possessed of her own will. Nothing more, nothing less. It avails you not to raise others up while belittling yourself. You are your own person, with a path of your own to walk. Even should you be taken by despair, that you are here now makes you no different from this woman. So believe me when I say, all will be well. Keep faith in Menfina. Believe in her love and grace, and you will surely learn to love others as well as yourself. Yeah, that's kind of suspicious of him to say, right? All right, big brain time. In the first alliance raid, we fought four gods. In this alliance raid, we fought five, right? Nofika, Althic, Nemia, Hello, and Menfina. Okay, that's nine out of the way already. That means there's three left for the next alliance raid. I don't think those are going to be it in the last alliance raid. I think there's a 13th god. I think there's a giga god. And it's Derek. Derek is Ashen the Wanderer all in. Uh, that could make sense. Yeah, I could totally see that happening. 13th god that created the 12. OMG, no way. Please forgive me for my unseemly outbursts. I had been feeling lost and all my anguish came spilling out. It was Menfina herself who brought you here. I'm certain of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> to encourage and guide me. Taking your words to heart, I'll try searching for a new path. Should you feel lost again, take to the road. See what is out there. Learn how others live and think, and you are bound to find your way. Yeah, he's got to be the wanderer. Totally. Blessings be upon you in the road ahead, dear child. Wait. That's not allowed. Did you say something? <laughs> Who said that? <sighs> Unsolicited though it was, I don't regret saying those words to him. He needed to hear them. But come, Anuccio. This time it's your turn to extract the information. Oh, I can see it. Please, not today. I didn't want to sob. The instrument vibrates rapidly. Dude, we gotta tell Halun about Harshafont while we're here. Forgive me, Anuccio. I fear I've caused you trouble. I'm relieved to know that. You truly are strong, in body and spirit both. Far be it for me to ask of this of you, uh, but please do not hold it again. Please do not hold against that child. We do not wish for our existence to bring grief to our children. Yet no matter which faith, we are who we are because of those who believe in us. My hound is no exception. He was born when men came to worship the object their ancestors cast unto the heavens. We are not all powerful. We can't grant all of mankind's wishes. Nonetheless, we always, always hear you. No hope is too small, no prayer too faint. I just wanted to make that clear, lest you forget. We love mankind dearly. It's an interesting take on gods, writing-wise. I like it. It's cool. Hold up. Gotta pay my respects to my boy while we're here. There are no objections. Let us seek out Cryo. She is headed to the Twelves Wood with Nelfka and Byragot, yes? They are presently too far away for us to sense, but we should be able to locate them once in the forest. I see. In that case, let us make for Gridania. So here we are in Gridania. Can you sense Nelfka and Byragot? I do, but something is strange. Indeed, they appear to be in different places. Nofka is nearer of the two and is quite close by. I shall go and find her. Wait, you mustn't go off on your own. Derek is awfully bossy with these gods. There she is. Well now, I wasn't expecting to see you all here. Is that the matter? You're supposed to be with Kral and Byragot. Where are they? Oh, we became separated while I was distracted, listening to the elementals. The beings are the voice of, the, of those who call the wood home. As I am the patron of this land, they could not help but report to me. You gods can sense each other. Even should you become separated, shouldn't it be simple a simple matter to find them again? Indeed, it would seem you are keeping something from us, Nufka. What is it? Hmm. Oh, hello. There's simply no fooling you. Very well, I shall confess all. The child Kryle wanted to visit our stones alone, you see, to complete her task without us watching over her. We merely respected that wish. With her abilities, I do not believe she is in any danger, but the warrior he is, Byragot decided to follow after her discreetly. If this is her wish, then indeed we must buy it, abide by it. As for Byragot, ah uh, yes, I sent him in the place the men call the South Shroud. One of the stones is situated there, I believe near Camp Tranquil. Let us search that area for Byragot. If we find him, we should find Kryle as well. What's up, Big B? What brings you all here? We understand you've been following Kryle. Where is she? Having acquired information from my stone, she now makes for Althix. I keep my distance to avoid being seen and was about to continue on when you appeared. Althic Stone is her last destination, is it not? Let us all go and meet her there. If everyone so wishes, then very well. To hasten our passage, I shall call upon Master Ralgar's servants to bear the mortals. Eagles? Awesome. 
Ow, ow, my cat is biting me. Ow! Stop. You're evil. Oh. Hey. It seems we have uh, the use of these hawks. Let us see if we can spot Crowl from above. I'll bring our companions so you needn't worry about them. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Oh? I must thank you, Nuccio. Talking to you helped me find the resolve to seek out Cryo. No signs of her here. Let us continue to Altic Stone. Okay. Oh, Cryo. There she is. Well, now, did you all come this way just to check on me? I've been on edge, worrying that I might stumble into Odin, so you gave me a bit of a fright. Nunfuka tells us that you wish to travel alone. What prompted you to send the gods away? Hmm. It's difficult to explain. I suppose... I suppose I wanted to seek the answers in my own way. As the gods told us, if we wish to know the truth, we must discover it for ourselves. In spite of this, they've seen fit to not only set us upon the right path, but accompany us besides. This bespeaks the faith that they have in man's spirit of inquiry, and it gives me heart. After all, it is the selfsame spirit that defines the students of Valdesian. Like everyone, I want to uncover the truth of the Twelve, to know their aspirations and understand them. And having seen a dear friend embark on countless adventures, I've developed the desire to see and experience the world for myself. There are dangers out there, of course, but I wanted to prove that I could handle them and perform my task. I see, indeed. As much as we can learn from others, there's no substitute from seeing with thine own eyes. Yep, and in yours, I see a gleam of yearning for exploration and discovery. It reveals to me that... It reveals to me the love you bear for our star, and it makes me glad. What's this all of a sudden? It's embarrassing when you see th say things with such a straight face. Right then. I've yet to acquire the information here, so I'll tend to it at once. Perhaps you'd like to wait for me at Quarry Mill. A person's life belongs to that person alone. Others can't be expected to assume responsibility for it. And thus it is wrong to interfere. Alas, once I've glimpsed uh, someone's heart, I find I can't avert my gaze. It truly is a difficult uh, to be amidst people. What did he just say? Alas, once I've glimpsed someone's heart, I find it... I can't avert my gaze. It truly is difficult to be amidst people. It truly is difficult to be amidst people. Are you not people? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> hmm. Derek. Doesn't take too long to extract the information. Crowl should be here any moment now. Apologies for the wait. With that, I've obtained information from all of my stones. You've taken care of yours already, yes? Yep. Thank you for worrying about me. While it's good to know that I can handle myself, I'm heartened to be doing this with you all. I owe you thanks as well, Baragat and Nofka, for accepting my request with good grace. Think not of it. You did well to seek your task through, little one. Indeed. Come, come, let us return to the Omphalos. I'm excited to figure out what this stone means. What up? You took your time, Anuccio. Did something happen? Kinda. Ah, so you rendezvoused with Kryo. How was your experience with the gods, if I may ask? It was pretty awesome. Not only did you help a disillusioned man find his way, you looked in on Kryo besides. Thank you, Nuccio. And you as well, Derek. I fear I overstepped my bounds, but what's done is done. We shall return to our sanctums. You have our gratitude for the delightful time. By holding your instruments out to the monument, you will be able to augment the missing information. Be well, dear children. Okay, bye. Shall we then? Uh... Wow, that was way more literal than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Yippee! Can we attune to it? Amazing! What was impossible to decipher is now crystal clear. Without further ado, I shall read out the epigraph. As beings who endure by the will of the star, we are susceptible to the influence of hopes and prayers. Thus do we commit our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. What do they mean by our yokes? Like their beginnings? Their roles, maybe? I think it's it's basically like... I don't know. They're, they're saying, like, we are beings who are literally the creation of the will of the people on the star. And because of this, we're committed to be us, I guess, in a way. I don't know. Oh, there's a there's one for each one. He who is named Byrgot shall provide preside over construction, his duty to fortify the works of men and encourage them to build. Oh, yeah. So, like, each one of them has their tasks and they're saying that like they're gonna stick to their tasks and this is like their creed basically. I see. He who is named Ralgar shall preside over destruction, his duty to galvanize the star's beating heart and facilitate mankind's regeneration. She who is named Azema shall provide over the sun, her duty to nurture its life-giving light and illuminate the truth for all to see. 
He who is named Naldo shall preside over the subterrane. Subterrane. His duty to make gleam the riches hidden in the dark depths and in men themselves. She who is named Nofika shall preside over fertility. Her duty to fill the land with life and prepare a path of peace and plenty. He who is named Althic shall preside over space and time. His duty to endow the star with material vigor and mankind's march may never cease. She who is named Halon shall preside over the glaciers, her duty to hold the melting ice at bay and imbue men with cons uh, constancy and tranquility. She who is named Menfina shall preside over the moon, her duty to perpetuate the turning of night and day and foster love in the hearts of all. He who is named Thaliac shall preside over the rivers, his duty to quench the thirst of men and water their minds with wisdom. She who is uh, named Nimia shall preside over the stars, her duty to preserve the celestial fabric of, of the seasons and weave the threads of men's lives. She who is named, how do you even say this one? Limlane? Limlane shall preside over the seas, her duty to administer the tides and inspire men to come together as one and seek new horizons. He who is named Oshin shall preside over the mountains, his duty to sustain the breath of the firmament and in wandering share in and in wandering share in men's solitude he who is unnamed shall watch unflinching his duty to stand guard over his charge always and unto the end there's a 13th god awesome yo bro i hate how derek didn't look surprised at all he didn't even flinch at that information. <laughs> there, the epigraph concludes. We've been given quite a lot to ponder. That's so cool. Hopes and prayers influencing their nature. Have you any thoughts on the contents of the epigraph, Anuccio? Yeah, what the hell's up with the 13th? <laughs> the worship of Dalamud brought forth Menfina's hound. Yeah, that's interesting. You mean to say that prayers have changed the 12 into their present forms? That is rather hard to believe. Given what we know of Dynamis, I believe it is entirely possible. In the presence of that energy, hopes and prayers have more tangible results than one might expect. Its power may be curbed upon our star, but over thousands of years of worship, it could have influenced the gods in various ways. Ways such that which Anuccio just described for one. Others that come from to mind are Halun's shield and spear, which reflect her status as a goddess of war, and Nimia's spinning wheel, which is an apt apparatus for a goddess of fate. Thus did they create this monument, this yoke, that they never, that they might never lose sight of their duty, no matter how much they change. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I am inclined to agree with Raha. The gods wrote that they endure by the will of the star. Who that refers to, we all know too well. By sundering reality, she must have known that she would shake the very foundation of existence. Anticipating the potential chaos, I suspect she charged her collaborators with maintaining stability. Oh. If this is true, then might not the 13th unnamed being be the Watcher on the moon? Oh, that? Yeah, the pieces certainly fall into place. I wonder if uh, he would be willing to share what he knows. As it stands, we've yet to encounter the three gods. As there's no telling what may happen once we've fought them all, I believe we should try to uncover as much of the truth as we can, the better to know how to proceed. To that end, ere we seek out the Watcher, Raha and I shall return to Charlian to compile our findings. The data from the analyzer, not least of all. To think that the investigation might lead us to the moon! I eagerly look forward to the next stage of our field work. Nuchu, like as not, yet more grueling encounters with gods await. You should rest up and gather your strength. Not long now, ere we arrive at the truth. Wait, Derek? <laughs> the squint. <laughs> For the longest time, I've journeyed alone, not involving myself in the affairs of others. But I've enjoyed our time together. You've undertaken the investigation with all earnestness, and it has been a pleasure to be a part of it. When I imagine the moment we must part ways, I can't help but be saddened, and it surprises me to feel that way. What do you mean, part ways? Forgive me. I did not uh, mean to wax sentimental. If you'll excuse me, I shall head outside for some fresh air. Bro? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are outside. <laughs> There he goes again, Anuccio. Do you suppose you could follow after him? I can't quite say why, but I feel as though he'll suddenly vanish one day, never to return. The foreshadowing is insane! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, it's all but confirmed, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, I can't help but wonder why Derek came to us for help. As an explorer, didn't he want to keep the glory of the discovery for himself? 
I, for one, would have gone over uh, the Phantom Realm with a fine-tooth comb alone before thinking to tell a single soul. I think it's because he meant to find us. The Watcher being the 13th one is a really good theory, though. Oh, it is you, Nuccio. What is it? Snow Game's worried that I'll suddenly vanish, you say. Well, as the saying goes, all things must come to an end, whether we will it or no. When our work is finished, we must go our separate ways. Doing so will sadden me, as you know. Yet that sadness is part of the joy I have derived from our companionship. So I will accept it when the time comes, and strive uh, with you to the last. Ooh. You can't leave the little baby monkey away. You gotta take him with you. As you know, my friend, I would rather you live your own life, but having helped you, I won't send you away against your will. Well, you're a busy woman, so I won't keep you. As before, rest assured I will share with you any tidings I receive from Kryl. Take care, my friend, and see you again in due course. Secret of the Twelve. It's crazy how the gods were so chill with us finding out there was a secret 13th god that's unnamed. Man, and that's it? Bruh. I want more. I'm actually more invested in the Alliance story right now than the MSQ. I can't be the only one, right? I mean, both are great, but geez, this Alliance rate is getting crazy. <laughs>